Hey, what's going on, you guys? Like, when you guys to the channel, it's your boy Big Dog back with another one take review. Today, I got one for Greenland, uh, starring Gerard Butler and Marina. I can never get a Marina back in back, back, back. Oh, no, that's not it's back, back in Marina Baccarin. You know her from Deadpool. She was the girlfriend of Deadpool. She's also in uh, Gotham. You know what I'm saying? Like, come on now. Uh, anyway, <laughs> this is a film that, uh, I saw the trailer for it in theaters. Scared the hell. I'm like, why would y'all? It was 2020 when I saw it. So I'm like, why would y'all show me this? This could happen today. This is gonna happen while I'm in the theaters. And basically, the premise of the film is um, a comet is coming to the to the Earth to basically like level it. Okay, it's not going to blow the Earth up, but it's going to like level. You know what I'm saying? The top part of the planet. So. Uh, Gerard Brother, who plays a guy named John, want to say, uh, must get his wife and his son. Yes, his wife and his son uh, to this shelter, and they were. Ooh, ooh, I gotta be very careful. I'm gonna spoil something for y'all. So um, they have to get to the shelter, basically, you know. And things are getting very dire. Okay, very dire because. We all know that humans act a little crazy when things aren't going normal, you know? We saw when the pandemic first happened. Everybody's buying up everything, buying up way more than they actually need. They, nobody cares about what anybody, what's going on with anyone else. That's just what it was, okay? People turn into savages when things aren't going a certain way. In this situation, listen, there are literal pieces of, like, rock falling down and destroying the first place you see get destroyed will blow your mind this is something i probably should have experienced in theaters probably would have hit harder but i was watching at home and it's it still hit quite a bit me and my little sister i was like oh my that is terrifying to think you just watching it and seeing this event happen and it's like it's like nothing you've ever seen before okay so you feel, people feel like the world's ending. They just start doing stuff. People start kicking people and stomping people and shooting people and looting and just all types of things. Like, you have people who, and that's what the film's kind of like about. It's like you seeing like the best of humanity when things are, and they're back at, well, you seeing the best of people when the world back at, back against the wall and you see kind of like people, the best of people. And you also see the best of people turn into the worst of people. And the worst of people, well, the worst of people stay the worst of people. Okay, that's just what it is. Okay, it's, it's, it's one of those situations where everybody's out for self. And there are some situations in the film where I'm just honestly like, I'm going to say it. Gerard Butler and his family got people killed. Like, you looking back at the film, well, not even looking back at it. As I was watching, I'm like, those people wouldn't have died if it weren't for them. Granted, maybe down the line, okay. But I'm like, in certain moments, like, they were actually getting people killed and not even noticing it because there was so much going on, you know. But, like, it's one of those, I have to protect my family. I have to I have to get my family to safety. That's all that matters to me. Nothing else really matters. I have to get my family to safety, you know. And um, I, it's heart pounding. Like, uh, uh, you constantly on the edge of your seat. Like, once a certain thing happens in this film, you kind of like out of it. You kind of like, wait a minute, what is going on? And, and there's, there's some other things happening. And it's like, wow. If... Like one small thing, one small incident, like causes so much to go wrong, so much to go wrong, and you like damn, like you kind of. It's not a happy movie. It's not. It's not a happy movie. Thought the acting was great. I like the look of it. I, I like the frantic feel that the movie gave me. Uh, kind of a sense of anxiety at certain points because you didn't know you. You didn't know what was gonna happen next. Like these things falling out the sky, if they fall in certain places of the of the planet or, or, or of an area, you're done. Like it is, like it is terrifying. I couldn't. Like I was looking. Me and my sister was watching. I was just like, 
Yo, pretty mind, I can't imagine if this actually happened. I told her straight up. I'm like, man, if the, if I walked outside and I seen all of these comments and all these rocks falling from, I'm probably not leaving the house. I'm probably gonna sit in the house, hope my Wi-Fi still working, and just watch TV because I'm like, what? I ain't got no shelter. I'm in the country. I'm done. And I'm dead. I'm simply dead. I it's just like, uh, you know, it, and <laughs> it's. It's, it's, it's really thoughtful. I, and I'm happy Ger Gerard Butler did this because it actually, to me, feel like it makes up for um, Geostorm, which was not a really good movie. But he, I guess he's like, hey, I need another world-ending movie, okay? I need to make sure this one's good. And, like, it definitely is. I, th I think this is a, a, a finely, a well... Uh, a well done film, man. Uh, <laughs> just, that's enough of this. Uh, I'm going to give... Uh, Greatly a B minus, man. I, I enjoyed this film quite a bit. You should definitely check it out. It's, it's definitely worth the watch. Um, <laughs> you guys, if you've seen it, let me know what you thought about it down in the comments. Hit that like button, subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching the video. Hope you guys are staying safe. Hope you guys have a terrific 2021 and happy New Year's to anybody I haven't told already. Uh, I'll catch up with you guys later. Peace.